I had a question from one of my AMA community asking how you do side-by-side -side videos. These are fantastic if you want to gather a client testimonial or if you want to invite a guest to join you and do maybe a live session with a guest into a group. These are fantastic. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do side-by-side -side videos, both pre-recorded and live stream. I have two different systems to show you. I'll show you how they work, how you set it up, and also go through the benefits and the drawbacks of each of the options. So let's get started. The first option is good old Zoom. If you already have a Zoom account, this is a great option, particularly if you are pre-recording your side-by-side -side video, I think Zoom is a fantastic option for that. You can stream a session, uh, a side-by-side -side session using Zoom, but I find it a bit clunky and I'll kind of um, show you um, the bits of it as we go through. So on Zoom, you would do a meeting. So schedule a meeting, let's call it Q&A. Um, and save. So this is going to give you, I'm just going to close that because if you go to meetings, this is now going to be here and you can copy the invitation and then send that to whoever it is that you want to join you on your particular side by side live. So um, recorded meeting, sorry. So for me, I'm going to Facebook message it to myself because um, I'm going to join the meeting on my iPad and on the laptop. So my iPad doesn't have email connected to it. So I'll Facebook message myself. <laughs> OK, so now I'm going to start the meeting. So imagine that this is the time when we're actually going to start. I am going to switch off my audio. Um, I'll also stop my video on this as well, just so that you don't have multiple versions of me. <laughs> it's not distracting. OK, so what I'm going to do now is imagine that I'm the guest or the, the person that's going to do the testimonial. And I am going to connect to that same meeting on my iPad. OK, so as you can see, I have entered the waiting room on my iPad. So I'm going to click Admit and then that is going to connect me to this meeting. So I will then start my video. Here I am. <laughs> if I start my video on this one. OK, so. <laughs> Um, now I've got a side by side video and all I would do then is is when I'm ready, I can click record at the bottom and depending on my settings, it will then when I click leave meeting, it would then download to my computer. So, oops, sorry, that is a fantastic easy way in order to record a side by side interview. From here, you can click more and go live on Facebook and then follow the prompts to connect to your Facebook account. And that would stream your side by side meeting onto Facebook for you. The only challenge that I have with this setup is that that side by side meeting, the, you'd then have two screens. You'd have the meeting in Zoom and you'd have to follow the comments in Facebook, which can get a little bit clunky while you're talking to somebody and trying to figure that bit out at the same time. So I think Zoom is fantastic if you're pre-recording a side-by-side -side video, then Zoom is great and really, really simple. So, oh, the other thing is just to click to check your view. So if on view you have it on speaker, it's going to flick between whoever's talking, where if you have gallery, it's going to have the two side by side all the time. So that's a little trick for you. So let's end this meeting. OK, so what's the other option that I've got? The other option is a system called StreamYard. Now, StreamYard has a free account which you can use. So that's a really great option. And I think StreamYard is fantastic if you are doing a live because it brings everything into the one browser, the one screen, which is so helpful. And you can you can 
do live on multiple social media platforms at the same time using StreamYard, which is amazing. So you just get a, a StreamYard account and then you connect whatever destinations you want, whether it be your Facebook or whether it be your YouTube account, whatever it is. And then when you click create, you would click on live stream, give it a title, give it a description and say which destination you want to go live. You can also schedule it for later, which is fantastic if you want to invite someone and it will put a a, a little thing on Facebook to say, that you'll be going live on this date at this time. So it's a good little prompt for people to join you at that particular time as well. So um, that's how you set up your your live. You can have pre-recorded video, but that is on the paid up the paid plans on StreamYard. So depends how many you're doing and whether it's worth you paying for the account. So let me go into the studio and just show you what I mean about what StreamYard can do for you. So we're going to enter the studio. So this is what it looks like when you're actually doing a video. You can change your brand colors to match your brand. And here is the two person layout. So then when somebody joins, you have side by side. The well, thing that I love about StreamYard is down the side here, you've got options. So this will pull the comments from the various streams into StreamYard so that you're working from one platform. And if you click on a comment, it will show it on the screen on your live video, which I think is fab. So if you're talking to somebody, you can flash up a comment from somebody and then answer it, which is amazing. You can also have private chat. So this would only be with the person who you are um, side by side with. So you could say to them, you know, give them a bit of information or chat with them behind the scenes and nobody needs to see it. So I think there's additional benefits to StreamYard that you wouldn't get through Zoom. So um, that's a really good piece of software. And I particularly prefer using it if I'm doing a, a live stream in particular. So they're the two options, Zoom or StreamYard. And it depends where, whether you want to pre-record or whether you want to go live and do something live. You can, if you do something live onto Facebook, you can then go on Facebook and download the video and upload it on YouTube if you wanted. If you didn't want to do it live on both platforms, you can. Um, so I hope that's been really helpful for you and helped to understand how you can easily record a side-by-side -side video for your business.